hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that try to do makeup videos. And today I am doing a tag video and I have been tagged in this for quite a long while since I was tagged in this, but I'm finally doing it. And this is a tag that I have done before. Uh, this is made by my friend Angelica Lirmar. I will of course leave her in the corner, I'm holding things if you wonder, and also down in the description. And this is my makeup year 2021 tag that she has done herself, and I did this last year, and she tagged me to do this this year, and I really wanted to do it, but I just haven't, and now I have to put these things down. So this is 10 questions, and I'm going to leave all info down in the description, and Angelica's video and her channel as well, and I think we just get started. Question number one. Brands I fell in love with this year. And I think I've only tried... Okay, maybe three new brands this year. I don't know, but I'm going to take two brands. And... Uh, it's two eyeshadow palettes. The first one is Louis Cosmetics. I have it upside down. Louis Cosmetics. This is Meet Me on in the Underworld palette. Uh, that I've tried for them. They're really like. And I haven't tried anything else from Louis Cosmetics. But this palette is really good. The other brand I did try was Odin's Eye. And I bought two palettes. This one, Giant Wolves. And... Ooh, this one and the red lipstick that is somewhere and yeah, I did like both of these brands the things I've tried so I'm going to say Odin's Eye and Loose Cosmetics. Question number two is brands I broke up with and I don't think I've broken up with any brand this year but I'm going to say Melt because I have the last two years bought their holiday collection and I have been so excited about their holiday collection and I've like started to wonder when we when it's beginning to be like September October what is it going to be what is the melt holiday collection and I've been so looking forward to this and this year I didn't buy it I thought that I was going to, I was like pretty sure even though before they did release it, but um, I didn't buy it and I have been close. I'm not going to lie, I've been close to buying it, but I mean like it's big, I don't know, I don't think it's something for me, I don't think that it's so special as it has been the last two years. And I know it was one of the owners, it was very personal to them. And uh, yeah, but I didn't think it was that fun that Melt usually does when they do uh, holiday releases. So yeah, that is what I'm going to answer with this. Question number three is make a product slash products I was happy I didn't buy. And I don't know if there is something last year that I think I would have regretted if I would have bought it. I actually don't think so. Did I... was I kind of good last year with my buys? Maybe I was. I was pretty close to buy things from Natasha Denona last year. But I decided not to, and I've tried. I have one Natasha Denona palette. I like it, but I guess it's. I don't think it's super amazing. So I don't know if I'm glad about that. <laughs> but yeah, I actually. And this I hate when I'm going to do a tag question, tag question tag. I always feel like I need to be, be super prepared for all the questions, but if I'm not, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do this tag, and that has been the case with this one, but there has not been a product this year that I have been wanting to buy, changed my mind, and being super happy about it. 
there was things that I wanted to buy for Black Friday, but it's nothing that I'm like happy that I didn't buy. Uh, so no, I don't think I actually have a really good answer to this one and it's okay. You don't need to have answers to everything. But the next question is, makeup products I was happy I bought. And here I have a lot and mostly face products. Um, I'm really happy that I did buy more expensive base products than I usually do. I bought the Fenty E-Strop. I usually don't buy this expensive base because I think that you can find a cheaper base that is really good. But I have been really really liking this one. So I'm happy that I did pull the trigger and actually did buy it. The same is with the Melt Digital Dust Duo Blush in Buskill. I have been loving this blush this year. It has been one of my favorite blushes and I'm so so happy that I bought this. It's one of my favorites. I'm also really happy that I bought some uh, face products from Nabla. I think I bought this this year. Maybe I did buy it. Or 2021. Can't remember, but it's the Ombra Skin Bronzing. Love it. But I'm so happy that I bought some new blushes and tried their two reasons. I do love this one. Mm, this one. Um, so I'm really happy that I actually did spend a little bit more of money on my base products because I do, I do think they are good. And this one, I'm so happy that I actually did buy this. I love this. Question number five is overhyped makeup releases for 2021. And I think that Colourpop? Some of their releases has been so hyped this year and then they have come and I have been so disappointed and you can start with the Powerpuff Girls. I did buy that palette. I did declare that palette. I used it once. I loved the Powerpuff Girls when I was a child. I still do really like it and I was so looking forward to a palette that they were going to do together with Powerpuff. Nope. Um, no. It was so boring. And the same with The Nightmare Before Christmas. I was like, finally they are doing a collab with Nightmare Before Christmas. It was like they haven't even ever seen the movie so disappointed so i think like color pops collapsed this year they have been so so many and they have been so so boring some of them have been really really good like tinker bitch but other ones has been no color pop just stop it and some of the like color pop can you please stop it stop release things it's like not release anything i got a little friend Ooh. Or a big friend, maybe. This is... <laughs> oh, is it light for you? She's starting to get so big. Is the lights annoying? Question number six is worth the hype 2021. And I'm going to also club Nebula on this one. This was... Hyped. And... I do understand why, because first of all it's Kaleidos, they usually are kind of hyped when they're coming. And the color store of this palette is amazing. This is the collab with Angelica Nyqvist and it's just an amazing palette. I did get this in PR, I'm so happy for that. And I think this is worth all the hype it got. I think they restocked it twice and this was my best palette of last year. I do really, really, really love this one. Question number seven is best new indie brand. And I don't know which one of these, like Odin's Eye or Lois Cosmetics, that I like the most. 
none of these were released in 2021. I don't think I have any products from any brand that started 2021. But I'm going to say Loose Cosmetics and Odin's Eye because they were new to me and I do really like both of them. Question number eight, the worst release of 2021. And I think <laughs> that um, not a lot of, this was a really big like release um, with Swedish influencer because this brand did a really like special thing when they released it and did send out P PR to Swedish influencer, but it is the money heist or La Casa de Papay collection from NYX Cosmetics. I do not know what that was. I have no idea. First off, I think it's strange like Syria to do a whole collection around because makeup in that show isn't something big and then the palette I think they could have put whatever on it like whatever collab ever maybe I should put up a picture here it's a really big palette and it's like you could have put whatever on it and nobody had like oh no that's money heist I don't get it I do not get it but I get that NYX are successful with the PR because all the Swedish influencers I follow on Instagram got this and all put up insta stories about it and uh, pictures and everything so yeah I guess that NYX are really good but I don't know what that release was I have no idea I haven't seen any makeup video on it from people I follow on YouTube so I don't get it I didn't like that I think that was one of the worst releases of last year. And question number nine is one thing I don't want to see in 2022. And I do not want to see, maybe this is going to sound strange. I do not want to see maybe rainbow palettes or palettes that are going to try to be fun and quirky. Palette where it feels like you have just thrown in a lot of colorful shades in a palette just to have something colorful, but it's so hard to do a look with it. I'm so tired of it and it doesn't feel like... It feels like some brands are like, okay, we're not going to do rainbow palette but we're going to do a really colorful fun palette but it makes no sense that is one thing i don't want to see this year palettes that makes no sense and it's just like a colorful vomit i do not want to see that i'm sick and tired of it so the last question is one thing that i want to see more of this year i want to see more there's a lot of things I want to see more. I want to see more collabs with smaller influencers like Odin's Eye and Teresa Stead and Lethal and uh, yeah, things like that. That's one thing I want to see more of. And I also want to see more of depth in palettes and deeper shades. It feels like a lot of palettes is like, okay, we throw in a black shade so people can make it deeper but that's the only deeper shade so you're like with lighter colors and a black i want to see more grunchiness i want to see darker color stories like the loose cosmetics here you have you have a black <laughs> but you also have like this and you have some deeper shimmers and like these are a little bit deeper and I want to see more of that and I want to see more like like this one that has an overall good theme and something just different something a little more unique 
and something a little bit different. I know it's hard to, everybody can't do like different things, but that is one thing that I want to see more of next year. A little bit more unique color stories and themes of palettes and also more crunch, more deeper shades. And it's a th maybe it's strange for me when I have an orange eye to say that I want to see deeper shades, but I do. That is something that I really hope will be more of this year. I think that that was actually all for this tag. I do really hope you like it. And um, thank you, Anielka, for tagging me. And I'm so sorry that it's taking me like a month to do this. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah. I really hope you liked it and if you don't subscribe to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!